All right, continuing along. Today, we went and routed this bad boy out. So this is the DMD panel here. So I just need to put my speakers here and there, here and there, and then it will be uh, ready. So I routed out the cutouts. Not perfect, but almost perfect. If I don't say so myself. Um, hand router. So I did use the fence along the edges here. So make sure you got this straight. So this is the reference edge. So I use the fence there and then I use the fence down here. Um, couldn't use the fence here because uh, the fence is not long enough. So I have to uh, do that by hand, but worked that well. Even I did the little uh, notches there so I can take out the spring. So everything is looking good. That is that is ready. Also, uh, <laughs> don't mind all the measurements. You know, that's why you measured twice. And in my case, 15 times. <laughs> I had it over here and it was off centered and I had to move it over. And now it's centered. Oh, it doesn't look centered. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's like this. There we go. There it is. That should be centered, I think, if I measure correctly. Let's see. Yeah, it looks centered. Yeah. Let's see, that should be perfectly centered. The, the, the hard difficulty is this thing is not centered. This thing is, was offset. So when I did, when I centered it before, it was wrong. So I just have to take into account the offset. So this, the worst part about it is just, it just looks all drawn up on it, but one cut, routed it out, looking good. Um, yeah, so we have our amps. So we have two amps. Uh, one is a 2.1 channel lob sound. The other is a four channel amp. So we have the Exciters mounted with some Gorilla Tape. I was going to put some screws, but uh, those things aren't going. That Gorilla Tape is a uh, heavy duty, right? So got those. Got the subwoofer ready, not mounted, just ready. Um, got uh, you know, almost everything ready. This thing needs to find a home. I was gonna put it there, but I realized I think I need to uh, at least uh, consider uh, ventilation. So we're gonna have probably a fan coming up here and then uh, two fans on. So on this area that moves away, that takes out, we're gonna put two fans in there. Obviously we're gonna have to put some quick discos uh, so we can uh, service it easily. But, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is it. For today, that is it for today. Lots of more work to, to do. We actually have to start connecting these pieces. All right, quick progress update. Look at that, almost there. We got our Everything cut out, ready to go. What's left to do? We need to mount the back glass and then add the trim pieces. And then we need to reinforce, got some reinforcements and joints, reinforcement. Right now they're just held in by a single screw and some dowels. So we have two dowels and a screw there. Same around everywhere. So 
do some reinforcement, make this thing a little stronger. But yeah. It is uh, coming along. We just got the monitor mount, the back glass mount to do, and some cleanup work. And we can finally assemble this puppy. A view back. Ah, <laughs> that thing dwarfs the pinball. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. A little work, a little extra work. Ooh, okay. Got the back glass mounted. Got the DMD slash Lennon's pinball back glass mounted. Uh, we're, we're in easy street now. Everything just fits like I measured right for <laughs> once. Yeah, looking good. Almost, I would say almost perfect. Almost, not quite. Yep. Look up top, we made the top flush a little bit inset. So that's just this. So we got the thing is being held up with two screws and Four, do oh, four dowels, one screw on each side and dowels in the middle. Uh, we need some more reinforcement, some uh, angle brackets or corner brackets. Right. Corner brackets here, there, and everywhere. And that should uh, take care of that. If I can get, let me zoom out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that rounded out just perfectly for the uh, fibs. Yep, so now we got to think about the cover here. So maybe get a slot going there, right about there. Um, yeah. Yeah, we can get. Looking good. Electronics were put on pause. Right here we took a nice gigantic hole. 120 millimeter fan, suck in air, and then there are gonna be two fans behind there. Pull in the air, so airflow is gonna continuously go this way. Um, yeah, it's got a bunch of things to button up, but uh, almost there. Continuing, cleaned up a lot of the wire over here. Added fan, intake. Gotta clean up this wire over here. Just making sure that my, uh, my VIB switch so works as intended. And it does. It's interesting how it turns on the, the monitor very late. So it's on, it's booting up. Now it kicks on the monitor. <laughs> I don't know if that's a setting on that thing or what. Yep, looks good. <laughs> Looks like we got two speakers, but we use the other speaker grill for the fan. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then that's the, uh, the subwoofer there.
There you go. Okay, here we go. The sun is awful now. may do graphics on the side, I don't know, but it looks pretty good. Really good sanding, hit all the uh, holes, countersunk them. So I have the plexi cut. So all I have left is to put the plexi on and what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse, um, black out the areas. So mask it off with painter's tape and then paint the unmasked areas uh spray paint the unmasked areas black put it on look good look good that's the tried and true method easy peasy but yeah yeah we got our 120 millimeter fan second air in um and on the back, we will have, let's zoom out. Uh, here, we're gonna have two um, 80 millimeter fans pulling air out. So, so far, so we just have to mount, I have uh, two, Amps. One is a four channel amp and one is a 2.1 channel amp. So the 2.1 channel um, will drive these two speakers in the sub and then the four channel will drive the, the exciters for the 7.1 surround. So got a lot of cleanup to do. Just more hanging. So the next part we should have something more representative. I also did the uh, the stop. So if you look here, I put the uh, the brace in here, 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 but I put it quarter inch in, right? Recess the quarter inch in, so it's just a natural stop. And then this is the, uh, the latch for the, the lock. So back is done actually. Um, it just needs a lot of cleanup, wire management. Come back here. Yeah. Looking good. Got a computer in there. Oh, 
It's ready. It's ready for prime time. Okay, now let's see how it turned out. Ooh, we only have one screen. Oh, there's a second screen. I haven't turned it on in a while. 